Right, uh, so another thing we're going to want to talk about in terms of nuclear uh, reactivity is of course the units of radiation on how we measure it. Uh, there are a couple of different types of uh, units and a couple of different ways we measure it. Um, so uh, let's just start talking about them. First uh, is probably the simplest to understand and that is the Becquerel, which is uh, a decay event per second. So how often a radioactive isotope would decay to create, uh, produce ionization, or excuse me, uh, radiation um, per unit time, per second. So, uh, however many times a um, radioactive isotope decays, divide by that, by the unit of time, turn it into seconds, and that is the Becquerel, or BQ. Okay? The Curie, named after Marie Curie, is, um, was event, is, um, initially measured as the amount of radiation that came from one gram of a radioactive element radium. Um, since then we know that it is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the 10th decays per second. So quite a bit of uh, radiation per unit time. Uh, most radioactive substances that you come across with in the uh, health healthcare field or in uh, industry are on the order of a microcurie or even a little bit higher, maybe a millicurie. Full curies, uh, as you can see in the number of decay per second, is quite a bit of radiation. So a lot of times you'll see a prefix multiplier associated with the curie. Now the Rentgen is a measure of the um, an exposure to radiation, x-rays or gamma rays. Okay, it's uh, measured by the amount of ionization that occurs in air, which is uh, really easy to measure, and that's why it sort of caught on. The amount of ionization produced in air. And that's uh, used in another type of measurement of radioactivity, the REM, but first let's talk about the RAD, which is equal to the amount of energy, amount of energy, and one of the units of energy that we'll, we can use is known as the joule. So the joule unit of energy the joule, J-O-U-L-E, abbreviated J. Okay, so the amount of energy um, in joules per mass, per unit mass, or more specifically, a rad is equal to 0 0.01 joules of energy observed per kilogram. So it takes into account the mass of the individual that's absorbing this radiation, which is of course you know, important for uh, establishing uh, you know, exposure and um, health repercussions. Okay, so the REM, or uh, the Rentgen equivalent man, is uh, essentially a calculation using the RAD. So it's the amount of rad, which you can assume is the absorbed dose. It's the amount of energy absorbed per unit mass. Multiplied by a factor, which is different for each type of radiation. Okay, uh, beta and gamma. Rays have a factor of one. Energetic protons and neutrons have a factor on the order of 10. And then alpha particles, 
because of their higher uh, ionization power, have a the highest factor on the order of 20. Okay. Um, the units used for the REM in most sciences are the sievert or SV and one sievert equals 100 rem. All right, and then of course, uh, to finish this off, we could talk about things that we uh, use in toxicology and health uh, fields to uh, declare how safe or unsafe uh, these levels of exposure are. And uh, the first one is the mass maximum permissible dose. And so this is the amount of radiation that someone is allowed to legally um, be exposed to. So people working with x-rays or radioactive isotopes are um, absorbing or exposed to radiation. And of course there's a safe amount that they can be um, expo uh, exposed to. And um, on the order, this is per unit of time of course. And so these are on the order of 5 to uh, 50 rem depending on what area of the body. And this is, of course, uh, usually per year that uh, people are allowed to be exposed to. Okay. And then another um, important measure of uh, radioactive or even, you know, just any type of toxicological substance that can be harmful is the LD50. And this is the lethal dose uh, 50 or so, the lethal dose or how about I say the, the amount, the dose that causes uh, fatalities in 50% of the population. So if uh, so these are usually uh, measured in milligrams per kilogram. The amount of uh, radiation or amount of um, radioactive substance, uh, excuse me, uh, that you can uh, uh, take uh, per kilogram of your body weight. And so if uh, this dose, whatever it is, uh, was given to um, say a thousand people, the LD, at the LD50 level, 500 people would die.